Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Glad to have you back. Um, what we're going to do today is, uh, well, first, it's, it's beautiful here in Kentucky. Uh, I think it's supposed to get up to like 75, 76. It was 77 yesterday up here. Absolutely beautiful. But what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to start installing a uh, shifter. But what we're going to do is uh my buddy was up here last weekend he has a 2010 camaro just like i do and uh he bought a brand new barton short throw shifter for his so i took the her shifter out of his installed the barton shifter on his and uh in exchange for installing that he did give me his old her shifter so let me show you what it looks like and uh, let's get this thing installed. So this is what it is, it's a hearse shifter, um, just the shifter itself, not the whole assembly. Um, this little rubber boot here broke when we took it out of the his car. So he ordered me a new one and I didn't ask him to do it. It's something he uh, did on his own and I appreciate him doing it uh but it's a pretty simple forward uh installation takes about mm, probably 45 minutes to do um so you know i just wanted to show you what it looked like and whatnot so now his it does come with dynamat uh you're supposed to put this stuff um on the shifter boot itself or not the shifter boot but the uh shifting rods and all that underneath the car and then on the floor pan around the shifter to try to help eliminate some of the noise uh i do not have the heat shield for it because uh, we installed it into his so we're going to put this one in my car without the heat shield and it is what it is so first thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead we're going to jack this thing up we can get it up in the air and uh put a couple jack stands underneath it and uh you will have to drop the transmission down to get the shifter out so be prepared to drop the cross member out let the transmission down just enough just to get that out so uh let's go ahead and uh get this done so what you want to do first is Pop off your trim here around your gauges and all that. Pop that off, set it off to the side. All right, so you get that out of the way. What you want to do next is uh, remove this screw, this screw. That one's missing. You got this screw here and one on the other side. Uh, remove those. Now, on the shifters, this one... This is not the original shifter in here. This shifter right here came from a 14 1LE. This is a factory GM short throw shifter. So we're going to remove this one out of the car. Um, down here, along this little chrome trim here, you got to twist it like that. Let it come off. And there's like a little set screw, I, I believe, somewhere here on this side or this side, you want to loosen that up, that shifter uh, will come off, and you'll be able to remove this whole assembly out of the car. So after you remove your uh, shifter boot there, pull your rubber boot, pull it up over that if you have this uh, still in your vehicle. Now, let's head below. That's where the rest of it begins. So after removing your shifter boot, take uh, pull this down, because this will be below the shifter there. Just pull that up. And everything else we need to do is below the car. So let's go ahead. Let's get the car jacked up. Let's crawl underneath there and get that done. All right, just ignore those wires that are hanging down, because we're going to be taking that off. But I just wanted to show you we caught with this jacked up 
you can tell how rigid this frame is because it picked up the passenger side too and uh that's probably why this car handles so good going around corners so let's get the jack on jack stand underneath this side that way we have some kind of safety put in place all right so this is your transmission mount right here you're gonna have these two bolts uh one there one there take your bolts off of your transmission uh mount take them two off over there and uh this will be able to fall down so let's go ahead let's get that taken care of that way when we get up here to the shifter everything will move real quickly all right so after you get your cross member out you're going to come up here this little dust boot right here as you can tell mine came off from where i installed this other one pull that off Kind of push that off to the side there. Then you're gonna have that little clip right there. Pull, either side you can do, it don't matter. You can pull that clip out and you're gonna be able to push a pin out. So let's go ahead, let's get that clip off. So after removing your pin out of that little slot there, you may have to work with it a little bit to wiggle it. But whatever you do, do not drop your transmission until you get that pin out of that uh, slot there because if you do you're going to mess your shifter up and you'll have to replace all that assembly there so let's go ahead let's drop the transmission we'll get those two 10 millimeter bolts out we'll drop the uh, shifter out and we'll put the new one in so after getting the two bolts out what you want to do is you want to pull down on the shifter here Just like that. Now you'll probably have to work with it, wiggle it out some uh, to get it around that because that shift fork right there. So let me uh, try to wiggle around on this some more and uh, we'll get that out and we'll get the new one in. So, so after you get the old one out, um just put just reverse everything you did when you took out the old one just put it back in there push it back in there and it'll kind of like i don't know it'll set in there like it's supposed to be and uh just take your screws put back in the hole jack transmission up put your pin back through there put your dust cover back around the uh bottom of it and uh put your cross member back in then you can let it back down on the ground and do everything from the top so let's go ahead and let's get that done all righty so i got all that put back together dust shield back on and everything so let's go ahead let's lower the car back on the ground and uh get the top half done all right so what you do with that little rubber garment you slide it over there you take your shifter boot right here slide it down you want to pull some of the excess over that little rubber boot there. You want to take a zip tie in that little groove. You want to zip tie that down. That way the shifter boot don't go up or down. So let's go ahead and let's get that done. All right, so after, you know, you put your zip tie around that little, the, the groove here, um, around the little plastic or not the, this rubber garment here, you put it in, slide your boot, down a little bit maybe a quarter inch zip tie it that way you'll cover all the way around um go ahead and put your screws back in this one's missing the little insert that's why that one was missing you do not have to remove that one i don't know why i did but it's only this one this one these two back here in the back that shifter piece comes off so let's go ahead let's clip that back in and uh we'll put the ball on and we'll be uh set to go so as you can tell it's all put back together i think it looks good in here uh this is my first aftermarket shifter ever so we'll see how it goes i haven't had too many people complain i know there's a big debate about the mgw the barton the hearst and all that 
you know, I've, I've driven the one, the MGW, I've driven the one with the Barton in it. This is going to be the first one with the Hurst. So, you know, we'll see. I'm sure it's a big improvement over the factory short throw. So I hope y'all, hope y'all enjoy that little, uh, video of me installing the Hurst shifter. I did run into a little bit of hiccups trying to get that pin out of the shifter on the transmission. Um, that helped me up a little bit, but usually this, if you just do the, uh, the ball assembly, it takes about 45 minutes. If you do the whole shifter, it takes about an hour and a half because you got clips on the side of the transmission that are a pain in the ass. Uh, I've installed, I think, three of them on uh, different people's cars. So, yeah. Uh, but this is like the fifth short throw shifter I've installed on these Camaros. So, I pretty much got it down packed. But I want to thank y'all for watching. Leave a comment below. Tell me what y'all think about it. Tell me about some other shifters. And we'll catch y'all on the next one.